Today, House lawmakers in D.C. are holding the first hearing looking into the Trump administration's decision to target and kill an Iranian general. As News Channel 34's Raquel Martin shows us, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was invited to testify but declined to appear. It's really egregious. It's his job to show up and respond. Iraq War veteran Senator Tammy Duckworth is slamming Secretary of State Mike Pompeo after he declined to appear at the first congressional hearing on the recent attack on Iran. She says the Trump administration is not being transparent about what led to the targeting killing of a top Iranian general and how they plan to resolve tensions in the Middle East. I don't know how we move forward, and in fact, um, I'm asking the White House, what are, your, what are your strategies, what are your plans, and they have none. Just because Soleimani was evil, and just because killing him may have been legally justifiable, does not make it wise. At the hearing, Richard Haas, the former State Department Director of Policy Planning, said the U.S. likely made matters worse in the Middle East. The killing interrupted what I believe were useful political dynamics in both Iran and Iraq. Since the strike, the U.S. has ordered new sanctions against Iran. Iran has promised to resume its nuclear weapons program, and Iraq has threatened to remove U.S. troops from the country. Avril Haines, former deputy national security advisor, says right now support from NATO allies is vital to avoid war. Given where we are today, we desperately need to invest in diplomatic efforts. The administration says talks with NATO are progressing and they're working to keep troops in Iraq. Congressman Adam Kenzinger says Democrats are blowing the conflict out of proportion. All the doomsday scenarios that my friends have predicted have not come true yet. Democrats say to get the answers they want, they may subpoena Secretary Pompeo. In Washington, Raquel Martin.